Let's do a similar kind of analysis to end class very briefly with figuring out the number of elements of order three in the external direct product of Z3 and Z9 as quick as I can here. Got an arbitrary element in there. I can make a similar kind of table. I guess we'll also figure out the number of elements of order nine. All right, well, the possibilities for A, the order of A, one or three. What are the possibilities for the order of B? One, three, or nine. So we could have one, 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 three, one, nine, three, one, three, 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 nine. Once again, there's going to be six rows of the table. That doesn't always happen. There could be fewer rows or more rows. What's the LCM in each case for each row? One, three, nine, three, three, nine. What's the number of elements for each row? One times one is one. Careful. The next row is not one times one. How many possibilities are there for B here if it's orders three? B is an element of Z9. There's not one possibility, but two. There are two elements of order three in Z9. It's three and six. All right, three plus three plus three, mod nine is zero. Six plus six plus six, mod nine is zero. And fewer additions do not give you zero. There's two possibilities for B. How many elements in Z9 have order nine? What are the generators of Z9? It's a cyclic group, just the Z9. One, the numbers positive integers less than nine that are relatively prime to nine. One, two, four, five, seven, eight. There's six of them. This is a one times six. For the next set of rows, we'll have the same right numbers, one, two, and six. For the A, though, there's two possibilities. So we have a two times one, a two times two, and a two times six. Do these numbers add up to the order of the group, 27? One plus two is three, plus six is nine, plus six more is 15, plus 12 is 27. How many elements in this group have order three? It would come from this row and these two rows because they have the LCM equal to three. Two plus two plus four, there's eight elements of order three. There would also be, for example, 18 elements of order nine. Okay, so I think this is fun. Perhaps the most fun you can have in group theory, perhaps, is making these charts and figuring out answers to these questions. I almost always put a question similar to this on an exam. 